Hey everybody, welcome to Bead Table Wednesday. Hello, hello. Let me give you guys a minute to pop in here. Sorry, I was a little delayed this afternoon. Run around like a chicken with her head cut off today. That's me. So <laughs> oh, I'm ready for a little break and some fun. And I got a um, cute little project to share with you guys today. I hope you'll like it. I know um, my birds are my most popular bead. And so uh, there's always something fun to do with them. And I'm always trying to inspire you guys with new bird projects. Because, you know, they're like potato chips. You can't have just one. So <laughs> hello, guys. Hey, Gerald and Anna. Welcome to Bead Table Wednesday, everybody. I'm Heather Powers, your host for today. And I'm an bead maker, jewelry designer, author, and instructor. And every week on Wednesday, I bring you a free project. Well, almost every week, I bring you a free project with um, art beads, and mostly featuring my beads, humble beads. So are you guys ready for this? This is the project we're going to do. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to show you guys um, this project and then a variation with the top part um, instead of the gold leaves we're going to do the gold leaves i'll show you how to put those on but also um we're going to do a variation with some check glass leaves so that should be fun yeah so next week uh next week wednesday actually will be our retreat for adornments in galena so i'm super super excited but of course lots of little details to finish up and um get ready so trying to get all the orders out the door. I know you guys have been waiting so patiently and so we're trying to have all those done by Friday. So that should be good. I will be relieved. It's always a little stressful to have such a huge pile, although I am eternally, eternally thankful. I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm glad you love my stuff and we work as hard as we can to get them out the door for you. So, oh, you guys, it's so good to see you all here, all these familiar names and um, can't wait to see some of you guys next week at Adornments. Just going to be a super awesome, fun slumber bead party, right? And of course, I have to give a shout out to my mom. Hi, mom. She's actually in the other room. She's here helping me today. So she's so sweet. She's so good at counting and measuring <laughs> for kits and things. So I have a uh, I, I like having an extra helper. Works out really good for me. And hi, Roseanne. Nice to have you here. And hello, Mary Lynn and Mary Johnson and Kathy and Colleen and Anna. Hi, guys. I know I missed a few, too. So, all right, guys. I am just ready to jump into this project since we were a little late. So we're going to get started right away. I'm going to turn you guys over to my desk here and so we're going to be talking about art beads today that's what this project is all about is um, using a collection of art beads to make a really cool necklace and sometimes people are a little wary about um, using too many art beads in a design because of cost but all the beads that I've picked out today are um, pretty affordable you know they're not they're not too much you kind of um, well, they're, they're affordable. They're, they're all under um, $8. I'm looking for a bead. Hmm. Don't know where I put it. Okay. <laughs> well, except for my bead, which of course is a fortune, right? No, just kidding. <laughs> it's just um, the birds are 18. And I have some really good news for you guys. Are you ready for this? Guess what I finally did? You can finally get birds my um, little floral folk birds. I know you guys are always begging for them and they go so quickly in the trunk shows and I know not everyone can get to a trunk show. So I finally offered them at humblebeads.com and you guys can order birds made to order and I have four different colors for you guys. And so, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. So do check that out after the video if you need a bird. All right, let's get to our table here. Okay, so I have, let's get rid of my power cord. <laughs> I have three different color combinations I worked up for these little guys. All right, there's my color combinations. 
love them. Of course, I want to play with them now that I see them. Don't want to do that and that. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm going to stick with my original design. There we go. <laughs> so many choices. So these are my three color combinations. I have uh, this gold and green and black and white combination, this peach with the green and teal at the bottom, and then purple with the bead that um, matches exactly, and then a little pinkish colored leaf. And let's talk about these art beads real quick. So your art beads, the humble beads, of course, is the bird, and then Gollum Studios makes the ceramic lentils in Gollum Studios. You can get their work at quite a few um, retail locations here in the States. You can also check out their website and just Google Gollum Studio and you'll be able to find their Gollum Studio beads or yeah, and you'll be able to find their website. I know um, there's quite a few bead shops online that carry their work too. And then Gardan beads are the enamel leaves and Gardan has an Etsy shop and she sells at trunk shows and then the little nests are from one of my favorite bead makers Green Girl Studios and so those are the little pewter nests that I have here all right the project is very very simple and it's not it's just gonna take a few minutes to put together this necklace which we always love projects that are quick and easy don't we I know I do <laughs> it's because I want to play with beads and have um, you know a lot of jewelry made and use up a lot of beads at the same time I don't want to spend five or six hours on uh, one piece <laughs> bless those uh, seed bead girls who spend 20 to 30 hours on a piece of jewelry I prefer instant gratification. Anyone else like instant gratification? Anyone else want to see their jewelry whipped up in minutes? Yeah, I know it's not just me. Okay, so some ingredients I'm gathering together are these really cool wire, um, not wire, jump rings that are like twisted wire. That's why I don't want to say. And these are from Vintage. And then I have some eight millimeter jump rings, some five millimeter and some four millimeter jump rings. And my wire, I'm gonna have, oh, about a five inch or six inch piece of 19 gauge steel wire. And the reason I'm using steel wire for the center of my pendant is because steel is much stronger than any other wire. And so your pendant isn't going to bend if you use the steel wire. And so that's what I'm, going to pull out first is a steel wire and I'm going to make a loop at the bottom simple wrapped loop excuse my fancy pink tape <laughs> got to be good to your hands guys so they'll be good to you okay I'm going to make just a simple loop here oh let me double check okay I do so many different variations of this. <laughs> so, just going back through and making sure I'm putting this together the right way. All right. And I forgot two beads, so give me one second to um, grab the other bead. When you're making these projects, you know, you guys feel free to use substitutions too. Like, um, you could just as easily use a Diane Hockey word bead on here, and that'd be super cool. Or you could use like a different little charm. Here's a little leaf. Or if you have some little leaves from Anna Bronze, those would look cute too on here. So this is just the guideline, the ingredients, but feel free to get all um, fancy chef on me and switch up those ingredients. Okay, so what am I missing here? There was one more thing. Oh, that's right. Did I mention the uh, feeling like a chicken with my head cut off? <laughs> 
right. Who's from Michigan? Francis, you're from Michigan? I'm from Michigan. I'm in South Haven, Michigan. All right. Here we go. Now I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to... I have my 19 gauge steel wire and I'm going to put on a spacer bead and this is a little tiny um, like a three millimeter copper spacer bead and I'm going to stick on my lentil and the reason I'm using the spacer beads you'll notice that the golem beads they have this little notch where the hole is and so I'm just visually filling that up so that it's not just a big empty space right there I'm going to slip on my bird. And Olivia's from Mexico. Cool. I like seeing where you guys are from. All right. And now I'm going to slip on. This is uh, a little round bead. You could use any round bead that you have. You could use a stone. Um, this is, happens to be one of those plated hematite beads that's plated in brass, which I really love these. Uh, Francis, you're from Jackson, so have I met you at Beads to Live By? If you haven't been to Beads to Live By, you have to go. <laughs> I'm sure you have, though, if you're um, from Jackson. That's your local bead store in one of my favorite places. Oh, speaking of Beads to Live By, um, my friend Cassandra is now doing free projects on her Beads to Live By page. So you guys definitely want to stop over to Beads to Live By and like their page so that you can watch her free videos. I know she has a Humble Beads one coming up soon. Okay, so I slipped that on and I just cut off the extra and did a little simple loop at the top. So this is the foundation of my pendant and I'm gonna add on, where's my play? Here we go. <laughs> my leaf and my nest, I'm going to open up one of the eight millimeter jump rings here. And I'm gonna slip on the nest and then the leaf. And then I'm gonna close the jump ring nice and tight. And guys, this is like, super easy beginner project so if you are not if you're new to making jewelry this is a great one to jump right into because all you have to know is how to make a simple loop and um, I'm going to show you a fancy technique with uh, a hole punch in just a second but I'm also going to show you a variation with just beads and so you'll have a, a beginner option to slip those on the smaller twisted jump ring and I'm going to close the jump ring nice and tight okay so that's the that's the pendant part and I really really love these big jump rings that have that rope like texture to them I had picked some up at Bead and Button, but I know I'm going to get a whole bunch more when I see Galena next week. <laughs> oh, uh, reading all your comments here. Francis, you have to go to and visit Cassandra at Beads to Live By. It is a fantastic little um, bead shop. She's so super friendly. They always have great classes there. And we have someone from North Carolina. Hi, Chris. And of course, my mom says she's coming from the next room. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, now we are ready to do this connector part. So I have the two um, five millimeter jump rings and the two four millimeter jump rings, and I have the little leaves. Okay. So this is a hole punch. It's a metal hole punch. This is a 1.5 millimeter um, hole punch. You can pick these up at any of the big box craft stores or wherever you buy jewelry, on, I mean jewelry supplies online. And this is a brass finding. It's just a stamping. There's no holes on it. So of course, all you have to do is have 
a metal hole punch and you can punch a hole in anything to make it into uh, jewelry. So you work out with it just like a paper punch. There's no special trick. The only thing is you always want to punch down from the front to the back. That's the only thing. So I'm going to center that, make sure it's um, have enough room all the way around. And all you do is press down. And there you have a little charm. I don't know if you can see the hole, but the hole's there. So I have a charm on that side. And now I'm going to take the other side, this little stem, and I'm actually going to roll this stem down into a bale, just using my round nose pliers. And I'm just rolling it into a little bale. I don't know if my camera's uh, necessarily, there we go. So you can see it's a little bale here. Well, you can also see how bad my fingernails look from uh, <laughs> <laughs> making beads today. So I've made a little tiny bale and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the four millimeter jump ring. And I'm going to stick the four millimeter jump ring through the bale that I made just like that. And I have to cut a piece of chain here real quick guys. I like to do longer chains for these necklaces and mostly because I like to look at the beads when I'm wearing it. <laughs> so I do about a 20 inch, 28 inch length of chain and this is a gunmetal chain that's a three millimeter is the size of the little links on here. And I'm going to close this up. maybe. Ooh, I knew that was going to happen. Make sure you get a good grip before you uh, pull <laughs> or push actually. Okay, close my jump ring. And so that side of the pendant is done. And all I'm going to do for the bottom part is add on the uh, five millimeter jump ring through my hole on my charm. Close that up nice and tight. All right, and now I'm gonna stick this on. And actually, I don't know if you just noticed that, but you don't wanna put it on so that the jump ring is in front of your leaf. Make sure your leaf is in front of the big jump ring. Okay, and now let's repeat that on the other side. So you're gonna punch your hole. So this is a 1.5 millimeter hole punch. It's the smaller size. And I'm gonna take my stem and roll it down into a little bale. Make sure that's closed nice and tight. My little tiny jump ring. And then add this to the bottom of your chain. Okay guys, so you see this is me making a necklace in under 10 minutes. It would be even faster if I had had everything gathered. <laughs> so super fast, super easy. If you guys do any kind of craft shows or art shows or sell your jewelry online, I always think it's a really good idea to do multiples of the same design in different colors because the hardest part about making jewelry is coming up with the design. And once you have the design, just to do it in different variations using slightly different beads. Um, it's a great way to whip up a lot of jewelry really quickly, especially if you're doing summer art shows and you need things um, in a flash or Christmas shows. 
Okay, there it is. That's my necklace. You'll be seeing me sport this um, next week in Galena. <laughs> if you're going. All right. Hi, Anne from Guardian. Nice to have you here. So we're using Anne's enamel leaves. All right. Now I want to show you guys a quick variation. with these gorgeous um see if that comes back in with these gorgeous uh glass sleeves and so these are check glass sleeves that i have here and i have some darkened copper wire this is 20 gauge copper wire and since this wire is thinner and not as strong as the steel wire I'm going to make wrapped loops with this so I'm going to leave about oh about two inches for a tail and I'm going to do a quick little wrap here so having that go around my pliers and I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers and wrap this around tightly two times and then loosely on top. I'm going to wrap it on top of those first ones so that I have that um, messy wrap look that I love. Okay, so you have your little wrapped loop and you can see this is, um, I haven't cleaned this wire with steel wool yet so it's leaving some black on my fingers that's okay hey Marilyn nice to have you join us okay got that bead on there and I'm gonna cut off the wire so about two inches left on the top and one thing I'm gonna have the little loops going in the same direction so they're both gonna be going in the same direction on this uh, little dangle here I created a lap, wrapped loop and get that messy wrap probably cut my wire too short but that's okay only you and I will know <laughs> right that's what I have there for the little beaded link and so instead of these leaves what I would do is I would do three of these and this bottom one I would put directly on the um, the jump ring and then to attach each one I would do a jump ring and then the chain at the top. So that's another variation you can do, very simple. This will actually be the kits that I have on my website because I'm all out of the little brass leaves, but um, I love this addition with the little check glass sleeves. Adds a little color to it, a little more, a um, little more oomph in the design. Yeah, that's a technical term. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys. That's the project. So there it is. Uh, I'm going to have the variations, these three colors with the check class leaves will be the variation that I have on my website, which of course is humblebeads.com. And really, guys, I want you to go check out humblebeads.com. I put a lot of new pieces up along with the birds. I also have my faux tin with the paintings that I've done. So these are my original artwork paintings that I've done that we put on the metal. And these are now made to order on the website. And I have pendants and earrings and some of the designs too. So I'm super excited about that website update. So please go check it out. Humblebeads.com. And since I love you guys so much, if you use free ship, just all caps free ship you can have free shipping 
on the website for the rest of the week. How's that sound? Yay! So use free ship at humblebeads.com and uh, you can get some of those very coveted, hard to get uh, birds and the new faux tin pieces with my original artwork. So, hey everyone, thank you guys for joining me. Next week I will not have a Facebook Live video because I will be in the throes of the retreat and we'll actually be doing our registration at one o'clock next week. I cannot believe it's here already. Uh, retreats are so much fun and so much work and we spend months and months planning and getting ready for it. And now that it's here, I just cannot wait to do it. All right. Cat, I know a lot of people want to learn that faux tin technique. I teach it at live events right now for this um, foreseeable fe future. I may offer it later on as an online class, but for now it's an in-person class only. And so I'll be teaching it on the bead cruise next year. So if you guys want to go on the bead cruise. And then I'll be traveling more next year and maybe later this year too now that I'm feeling better and um, ready to get out and do more stuff. So you have to just, I'll update my website after next week and let you guys know where I'll be teaching and where you can take classes at. And of course, um, yeah, just check out the website and see where I'm gonna be next. And I will start booking some more of those Photon classes at bead stores and stuff. So if you have a local bead store in the um, Midwest, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, maybe Ohio, if you were close to Michigan, those are all places we would drive to to visit local bead stores and do a trunk show and uh, classes. So if you know a local bead store and you want me to come teach, chat them up, talk to them, let them know you have an artist that you'd like to have as a guest instructor. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I just love love visiting with you every week and this was a super fun easy project and again here it is so also I'll remind you guys humble beads bird golem studio lentil guardian beads enamel leaf and the green girl studios pewter nest these are all of some of my favorite bead makers definitely go check them out and of course I'll have the kits listed later today with these variations. All right, guys, that's it. So you guys take care. Have a great week. I'm going to get back to work because I got a lot of stuff to do. And I'll see you in two weeks unless I see you next week in person, in which case I will be giving you a hug. All right, guys, talk to you later. Have fun creating. If you make this project, feel free to share it in my Humble Beads VIP group. Actually, if you make anything with the humble beads feel free to share it in the group we love seeing what you do with your humble beads humble beads love fresh air and sunshine so get them out of the boxes and make something with them all right you guys have a super great week and talk to you in two weeks bye